Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and we're designandtechtips.com. Well, we've got another one, fun one for you today. It was actually requested. We got a little parallax section there. Then when we get halfway up the page, we've got a little autoplay video going to zoom in. And you can sit there and watch it. And when you roll back up the page, it's going to disappear out again. Same thing when you go back down. Great little feature to have on your site, really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down and I'll simply delete this section. We'll start from scratch. OK, I'm going to add a new little section. Blue button. I'm going to make it a regular section. Inside, I'm going to put a row with two columns. In the first one, I'm going to put a little code module. That's where we're going to put our autoplay video. We'll come back to that one in just a second. In the second one, I'm just going to put a regular little blurb module. The reason I'm putting two in here is I don't want that video being too big as it's an autoplay video. I don't want it taking up all that space because that could take up a lot of server resources. OK, well, I'm going to just call this autoplay video. I'll leave that generic text as it is. I actually want to use an icon today. Find a video icon. That'll do fine. Great. Well, let's go get the video that we want. I'm going to go over to YouTube, go to the video you want, hit the little share button down underneath and hit the embed. I'm actually going to make sure that mine starts at about a two minute mark. And it's pretty important you do this. So I'm going to put a two, a colon, and a zero, zero, if you've got a long video. Because it puts in a little question mark and start 120 there. Now, if you don't do this, you'll have to put a question mark in yourself. I'll explain that further in a minute. So when you're happy, it's copy. And we'll go back to our page. I'll go back into that little code module. As the code module takes up no real estate, sometimes it's hard to get to. If you have trouble, just simply hit your little purple button. We'll go to wireframe mode, which is back end mode. I roll down a bit. There's my little code module. I can get in that way. As soon as we're in there, we can flip back to desktop mode again. OK, well, I'm going to put my video embed code in there. And there it is. We've got our video there. But I really want mine to be auto playing. So if I Bring this a little bit closer. I can zoom in on the code for you. Right after the actual video ID, which is it there just before the question mark, they've put in that start 120 because I'm starting at two minutes in. So it's at the 120 second mark. Right after the zero, make sure you're inside that inverted comma there. Do not cut off that inverted comma. Just inside the inverted comma, I'm going to put that and sign or the ampersand i'm going to say autoplay equals one and that'll start it autoplay now i'm going to put and also i'm going to put another and mute m-u-t-e equals one also and as you can see that started to play the video on autoplay with no sound which is just exactly what i wanted great well, let's make this background a little parallax image. So I'm going to go into the section, the blue tab. Into the background. I'm going to add an image. We've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern or background mask. I'm going to add a little image in here. Pop in the same one that I had before. And I'm going to make it CSS parallax by flipping the parallax effect button to yes. I'm going to say CSS, which is actually fixed background. It stays where it is. That image in the background staying exactly where it is. Fantastic. Well, let's make that blurb module look a bit more readable. And then we'll do our scroll effect on our video there. So let's save our section settings. I'm going to go into the blurb. Design wise, I'm going to make that icon white. I'm going to do the same for the text down below. And I'm going to pop it into the middle. So let's pop it into the middle and make it light in color. 
Great, that's all I'm going to do for that. I'm not going to have a fade effect on that. I'll leave it just as it is as it's coming up the page there. But what we do want to do is have no video until it gets up to about here, then have the video spin in or fade in. And then we'll have it fade out when it gets further up the page. So let's do that. Let's go into the little video module itself. Over on the advanced tab, this is where you'll always find the scroll effects right at the bottom is scroll effects. What do I want it to do? Well, I want it to fade in and out. So I'm going to hit the fade in and out. I'm going to enable fading in and out. I want it to start off invisible, then at about the 50% to about the 70%. I want it to be 100% visible, which is it is at the moment. But I want it to be invisible all the way up till about 40%, I should think. And again, I want it to be invisible from about 80% onwards. So it's going to disappear when it gets up to 80% of the screen. So I'll put a zero in there. Now, if I demo this for you, if I roll it down to the bottom of the screen, see it's faded out. It's going to get up to about 50%. It's going to start fading in at 40%, 50%. It'll be fully in. It'll stay fully in. until we get up to 80% and then it'll fade back out again. Great, but I actually want it to shrink. I want it to start off real small and then come in. So let's enable the scale as well. I'll do a similar thing. I'm going to hit the little switch to enable it. From 50 to 70, I want it to be 100%. I want it to start off at zero. I want it to be zero size up until well, let's say up until 40% it starts to fade in. And again, I want to do that at zero at about 80 here. So I need to put a zero in there, so it's tiny. And a zero in here, so it's tiny. As you can see, it's already shrunk that down. I put that down, it's shrinking down. It's fading and shrinking this time. And it'll fade out about there. Great. So let's save our changes now and see if this is going to work on the front end. Save draft or publish if you're ready. Let's exit the visual builder. And there it is. If we roll down, we should see our little parallax section come in. The video is going to roll in. It's going to auto play. We can sit there and let people watch it. Or we can roll back up and it's going to disappear out of view one more once again. And of course, when we roll back down, it's going to do exactly the same thing and then disappear out of the bottom. So there you go, guys. There's how to build a little parallax section with an autoplay video that zooms in on scroll. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.